Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Sunday the 17th of September 2023 and this coming week we have potentially some significant excitement because on Wednesday we have the FOMC of the Federal Reserve making its decision on interest rates. Market makers, traders, analysts, economists all expect no change. But it's the comments from Jerome Powell, the Fed Chair, that will reveal, or not, the likely trend in rates for the rest of 2023. This is a repeat of yesterday's weekly update. So if you've listened to yesterday's video, there's no need, unless you really want to, to listen to this one. But if you haven't, then enjoy. Now, first of all, just a quick reminder, we've set up a second channel entitled Finances Do Matter with over 150 videos covering a whole array of financial topics. We've placed a link in the description box below and also in the comment section. If you haven't joined that channel, please go over and subscribe. Now, last week we saw gold rise $5, rising from $1919 to 1924. It's been as high as 1930 and as low as 1901, so a rise of just under a quarter of 1%. In sterling terms, it finished the week at £1,555, that's up £15. Pounds. And in euros, it closed at €1,805, euros, that's up €11. Euros. Silver rose 10 cents from 22.94 to 23.04, so breaching that psychological $23 level having hit a high of 23.30 and a low of 22.35. I'll mention later on about Thursday, because it really did start to dip then, but then recovered. Overall, a rise of 0.45% for the week. In sterling terms, it's up 21 pence at £18.63, and in euros, it's up 0.14 euros at 21.64 euros. Gold to silver ratio fell from 83.6 to 1, to 83.5 to 1. The difference between gold's high and low was just $29, which was quite surprising, bearing in mind CPI figures were out, and the difference between silver's high and low was just 95 cents. We were expecting some mini fireworks. It looks like it's going to happen this week. Now, this is what we said concerning our forecast. We expect gold to trade between 1870 and 1950, which it did, and silver to oscillate between 22 and 24, which it also did. Now, looking at other financials, Bitcoin is up $668 on the week at 26524 Seems to like at the moment hanging around that $26,000 level. Equities, the Dow Jones was up 42 at 34618 The S&P 500 down just seven points at 4450 and the Nasdaq Composite down 53 points at 13,708. Good news for the UK, the FTSE 100 index was up 233 points at 7,711. Hooray! I have to say, UK equity markets have not performed very well over the last 12 months, or more for that matter. Now, oils were higher, unfortunately, breaching that $90 mark for both of the main oils that we are comment on. Brent crude up $3.28 at $93.93. .93. If you remember last week, it just breached the 93 level. And WTI crude closed at $90.77, up $3.26. The dollar index still strong at 105.32. That's up 0.23 points on the week. Now, in terms of economic data last week, the key areas were the CPI figures on Wednesday and retail sales on Thursday. There was other data, but these were the two main areas to focus on. CPI for August came in at 0.6% against expectations of 06 but core CPI, which is watched more closely and paid more attention to, came in at 0.3% against expectations of 02 now, this pushed up the CPI year-on-year to 3.7% year year against 36 expected and core CPI to 43 against close to 43 expected. U.S. retail sales came in strongly at 0.6%, so it looks like no recession for the U.S. against expectations of 01 
And if automobiles are removed from the equation, we have 0.6% against expectations of 0.4. So things seem quite robust. Now this certainly strengthened the dollar further and in our view is a signal that interest rate rises are not out of the question for 2023, especially as the producer price index was also strong at 0.7% against expectations of 0.4. A lot of figures I know, but broadly what we're saying is that inflation is not necessarily going down, though the trend is down, and also prices generally still rising a little worryingly so, not enough to tilt the balance yet, and retail sales very strong, pro rata that is, indeed. Now, as we've been stating for months, it's difficult to get inflation down while the oil price continues to rise. If tomorrow, for example, it's not going to happen, but if tomorrow we saw, or Monday, we saw oil prices move sub $70, then inflation would rapidly decline. There is a school of thought that the Fed has done enough and that rates won't rise this month. We suspect also rates are not going to rise this month either, but we're not convinced yet that another 25 basis point rise isn't necessary. We believe it is, and our view is better do it early rather than later. But hey ho, we are not the decision makers. This coming week, all eyes will be on the Fed's FOMC's decision on interest rates on Wednesday, and Chair Jerome Powell's press conference and remarks, which will follow the interest rate decision. The rest of the week, we have other snippets of data, but Wednesday will be the crucial day. Now, we have no doubt that gold and silver's direction this week will be determined by the Fed's decision, and perhaps more importantly, by its tone. You see, the Fed funds rate stands at five and a quarter to 5.5%. And the CME's FedWatch tool is predicting with 97% probability that there will not be a rate rise this week. We concur. And even if the probability was still 60% instead of 97, we would still concur they will not raise rates this week. So at 97, it's almost, not quite, but almost guaranteed. From a technical point of view, gold has showed a mild bullish reversal pattern, and if it can manage to exceed $1,931, it could rise quite quickly to as high as 1969. There is support around the $1,900, which is just below the 50-week EMA, but if this is breached, there could be a relatively sharp decline to 1850, though we're not expecting that. One thing for certain is that there will be a degree of choppiness in the next couple of weeks. Silver bounced strongly off its lows on Thursday and has formed a technical hammer, which is generally bullish. Until we get confirmation that there will be no rate rises for the rest of 2023 and the next move likely to be lower, it's difficult to see silver really rising above $26 or falling below $20. These are the two extremes for the moment. Maybe in two months' time, that position could change. Short term, though, we expect further oscillation between 2150 and 25. Now, on that note, unless something very surprising happens on Wednesday, we expect to see gold trade this coming week between $1,890 and $1,960. An 1875 to 1980 as outliers. Silver may be a little more volatile, and we expect that to trade broadly between 22 and 2450 with 2150 and 25 as outliers. What do you think? Do share your thoughts. Either way, we'd appreciate it if you would give us a thumbs up, subscribe and press the bell sign. Also go over to Finances Do Matter and subscribe to that channel. And meanwhile, we wish you a safe, enjoyable weekend. And as always, and it may happen this week, a prosperous week ahead.